Hello guys, welcome to our 14th Laravel Laravel um, code hub tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the. Uh, we're gonna be ahead and be creating the reply page. So what we will be doing is basically when somebody clicks on this link here to view this post, we will take them to the page where they can view this post and also the replies left for it. Today we will be creating the look, so the page itself. And then in the next tutorial we will be creating the uh, the logic where we can you know load the replies and also leave replies and so on. So let's go ahead and go to our routes file here. And as you remember here we had a route get. Let's go ahead and remove this post here. So what the route will be here is basically even when they go to um, code hub slash public slash question and then they pass in they pass in the slag slug they will be able to view the that particular post. We will talk about what a slug is and how we can handle that in the next in, in the, the later tutorial so don't worry about that right now. And when they hit this route we will use the forum controller and the view post method. As you remember here we created that last time and that simply we're printing out this view post page. So let's go ahead and try that. Go here public slash question and I'm gonna put A as a slug. As you hear here we are redirected to the um, login page to we, we are redirected to the authentication page. It's telling us that we need to authenticate to view the post. However we don't want that to be the case. We want people to be able to view the post itself. So let's go ahead and go home or sorry let's go ahead and go back to our form controller here and we can do that very simply by inside our this middleware function we can pass in an additional parameter and in here we can say accept and we can tell it which functions pages do not require us to authenticate and in here just pass that and I'm going to say view post so if I go back here now when it goes to that route it should allow me to view the page and we see the message that we're printing out here Sorry, the message that we're printing out down here. Now, in this case, we, this is not what we want to do. We want to return a page. So, instead of this, let, let's replace it with return view. We do not have that view yet, but we will be creating it. So, that will be inside pages. And inside pages, I will call this reply. And I will be returning this. So, let's go ahead and save that. Inside pages, create a new file, save this as apply.blade.php. Alright, now I'm gonna go ahead and open the home page here. I'm gonna copy this as we need to you know extend the master layout and so on. But what we want to do here is we want to make it look similar to the home page. So if we go here, we want this post view to look the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So Since we're only doing the look, we'll have to create some dummy data before we're able to actually. Um, so we will have to remove this Laravel PHP code and we'll have to replace it with our own text. I will say title and we will actually populate this in the next tutorial when we do the logic itself by and then the body here. here would be when it was created date goes here these are all placeholders which will be replaced by the code later on and in this case we will not need to display the number of comments since we will be able to see the replies themselves here so we can get rid of this altogether so let's get rid of that and also we can get rid of this else here and let's go ahead and see what that looks like so let's go ahead and navigate to that page again slash question and we see it will look like this it will be the same now under here we want to print out the replies okay so let's go ahead and create um, let's go ahead and create the replies 
gonna copy this again. Paste that. Okay, since the reply will not have a title, we will not need a title. We will have a by, so this will be posted by somebody. And this will be the reply, the body of the reply. And also the date the reply was posted. So that's what we need. Let's go ahead and refresh this. So this is what it will look like. So let's say So this is the actual post itself and he's asking a question and then somebody is replying here saying hey this guy replied at this particular time and so on. But what we could also do is instead of placing the date there we could place it somewhere else but in this case I'll just leave it this way because it's simple and I'll leave it up to you guys to go ahead and you know figure out where to place the date and, or if you want to move the date from down here to up here to the top. Uh, left instead of the bottom left if that's up to you to simply move the HTML up and down here but in this case we created the loop so this would be very simple and you, what you can actually do guys if you want you can um, basically write a little bit more CSS and just you know maybe you can change the color of this uh, this text uh, sorry this background to so you know that it's a, it's a reply or what most pages do is basically they indent this so you can indent the reply a little bit more to the left and then you know that would look a little bit better so you guys could you know know that this goes under this although in this case what we will do is like this is the post itself the question and this will be the replies and there will be multiple replies here a lot of replies depending on how many replies he has so in the next story what we will do is uh, we're gonna go ahead and handle this log basically when they pass a in this case would be the title so it should be something like this and then title and then what it will do is when he hits this controller, this will it will basically find this particular post if it does exist. If it exists, you will find it, populate all the data and all and all the replies, and also give you an option here for you to post a new reply. But this this uh, text box or form here will only appear if you're logged in. So we will handle that case as well. And in the case of let's say this thing you click on, or let's say you manually type the title here. What will happen is if that doesn't exist, what we will do simply is we will read the redirect user back to our home page. We will take them back here. So that what we will, that's what we will simply do. Okay, so this was that was it for this tutorial. We just created the look for that page, for the reply page, and the next tutorial we will handle in populating this page with the replies and the post. Thank you for watching and stick around for the next tutorial and please give me any requests or any questions or any suggestions you have for the next tutorial. Thank you guys.